get that joke. It was about six years ago that my brother gave a uh, epic best man speech at uh, my wife and uh, Marie and my wedding. It's a great speech. I've been told at least 20 times today that I have big shoes to fill and am I ready? Can I do this? Uh, you know, I'm just going to set the bar low and tell you it's not going to be that good. So let's just, let's get that out of the way. It's not going to be that good. Tony told a really great best man speech and so I'm going to do my best to uh, fill those shoes but it's, it's going to fail miserably. Uh, just, uh, just out of... Uh, you know, reminiscing, I, I went on YouTube because the, the video was uploaded on YouTube and it's got like 1,700 views on YouTube. I mean, like 1,500 of those are by Tony Excel. But that's, that's, that's not even really Tony, Tony and, and later tonight, if anybody wants to like watch that video, Tony will gladly show it to you in the corner. He'll get his phone out and he'll show you the video. Over and over. I might stream it on this TV later, I think. But, uh, he touched on a whole bunch of great things about our childhood. I remember when we were back in the backyard, and uh, you know, he used to teach me how to throw things at him. <laughs> you know, I got really good. So, um, you know, but before I go any further, I think we need to address the 800-pound gorilla that's in the room right now. <laughs> We need to address it. I think everyone here knows that I was not Tony's first pick for best man. All right. All right. Glenn Beck could not be here tonight. Right. He's, he's planning, he's planning uh, a meeting with Ted Cruz on how they can stop Donald Trump. Yes on winning the presidency. They're working on some stuff. I don't know if it's been released yet. It's gonna be huge. And in fact, I mean, I I thought I'd be a little mischievous and like maybe I was gonna invite Hillary Clinton to the wedding tonight. Yeah, that would be fun. She didn't get my email. She didn't get my email. That, that is the server. The server. Right? The server. All right, all right. I like that, man. Right. Sorry. Two political jokes. Check. For that. Right. We're good there. Right. You can move on. I can move on. What else do I have? What else do I have? Um, so, I lost my train of thought here. <laughs> but, um. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. So, like, the, the, the thing that Tony picked on me in my best man speech was the age difference between my wife and I, six years apart. You know what's, you know what's, you know what's greater than six? Seven. Seven is greater than six. Bree, right? Bree, now listen, Bree. I'm not saying that your husband is old. Right? I'm not saying he's old, but his social security number is seven. All right? When he dreams, it's in black and white, right? I'm, I'm not, seriously. I mean, when he was in school, they didn't call it history class, they just called it class. So, are, are you signal? Yeah. Is that, is that it? All right. All right. All right. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I should stop. These jokes are getting Tony, I'm sorry, they're getting old. But, but, all right, so, you know, I, the, the funny thing about giving the speech tonight is, you know, as a, as a best man, oftentimes you're supposed to give a piece of advice to the groom, and it's a little odd to give advice to my older brother, you know, because, you know, normally it's, you know, people of wisdom giving advice, you're a little bit older than myself, so I, I thought that, you know, I guess I'd go to the cat and Zero that's been married the longest, which would be our baby sister Annie, for advice. So Annie, Annie gave. I'm just kidding. I would never take advice from Annie. <laughs> but uh, so, in, in all honesty, 
a very a very close friend of mine once told me that when you when you find your soulmate that this is someone who makes you want to be a better person and i see that in both of you great relationship so cheers to both of you you can tone, tone it down a little bit on the Facebook. <laughs> the love in the but you guys are a great match, and cheers to you. Um, this is for all of those family members that couldn't be here tonight. And before I say anything, I, I do want to say my mom did an amazing job, and everyone else that was here the past couple days helping. You've turned, you've turned camp. Camp looks gorgeous. I've seen so many comments from people about how well the place looks tonight. You guys did an amazing job. You guys did all the hard work. My mom did a ton of hard work and all the other people that were here ironing for hours yesterday. Great job to everyone. And so this is a cheers to Tony and Bree. Cheers. Cleanest! Cleanest! Chip getting 